So what's going on everybody? Welcome to and welcome back to another Photoshop skin retouching tutorial. Listen, I'm excited about this video because I wanted to bring you guys a little bit of awareness and content to be able to show you how I go about my retouching, you know, workflow process. In today's video, we are retouching Hollywood. We are working on the photo of none other than music artist Mario. I had the opportunity to work with him with the BET network and from that connection got to know his publicist and work with him on a per, uh, personal project as well. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you how I go about retouching men's skin and then also how I go about, you know, my whole workflow process. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to dive right into the video. So let's get to it. So what I'm going to do in my first process of retouching, I always analyze the image. I look at the image and I see what things could be perfected. So what I like to do is zoom into it sometimes 100%, you know, so I can get a bigger uh, and broader perspective of what I'm, you know, need to do. And then I look at it and I see, you know, small imperfections on the skin that needs to be corrected. And then also, you know, just things that I want to smooth out, like, you know, uh, being African American, especially working with African American clients, sometimes we have, you know, discoloration within the skin pigmentation. So I see that that's something I want to work on. And then I just stroll through and zoom out of the image and see things that could be, you know, uh, worked through as well. So thankfully, you know, Mario doesn't have, you know, bad skin or anything like that. And he has, you know, it's just your everyday, you know, um, pimple or, you know, breakout. So what we're going to do right now, and my first thing that I do when I'm going to retouch, I go straight into the spot heal tool, and then I look and I start to zoom in and go around to the bigger things, um, like the bigger, you know, per imperfections, I will use the uh, patch tool, but things that can be, you know, easily just swapped out like this, as you can see, I just start going around, analyzing it and removing as much as possible that I see that is sticking out and also noticeable in the image. All right, there we go. And one thing I say that is absolutely important in this process of retouching is to uh, zoom in and out of the photo as well. That way you're able to continuously, uh, you know, know what you're getting and how the image is actually, you know, turning out. And then also use the tool of the history tool to just, you know, go back and forth to see your, you know, process and progress that you're make, uh, making along the way. Now on things like this image, as you can see, he has like this little mole spot right here. Um, I like to leave it because that's a characteristic of him. You know, it's nothing like a blemish that could be removed. It's, you know, actually something that is, you know, continuously on his skin and a part of his, you know, facial characteristics. So if the creative direction calls for, you know, removing that, if you're working with the brand, then it's, you know, something you would want to do. But when retouching men, especially, I like to be able to still keep skin with texture and consistency. And to make it look like it's retouched, but at the same time, not look retouched. I never want someone to be able to look at my uh, photo and just be like, man, that's a re nice retouching photo. It should just be, you know, it's a nice photo. So as I said, I'm going to now zoom out and then look at a quick before and after. And then I'll zoom in a little bit more, quick before and after. All right, so here I'm going to get this too. There we go. All right, so within this as well, I'm going to kind of, you know, just play with the beard a little bit. I see some beard hairs that are sticking out that are, you know, that caught more light than the others. So what I'm going to do is just diminish those. All right, so my next, uh, you know, part that I go into when retouching is analyzing things that can be perfected. So what I want to do is remove this whole little spot right here and just not well, not so much remove it, just diminish it so that it's not as prominent as it is. So what I'm going to do is go in with the clone stamp tool. As soon as I go into the clone stamp tool, I will go up to the opacity. Now, the opacity always differs from 
the skin texture and how much you want to be noticeable. Either you can go to 100% opacity and, you know, brush across the skin and be able to, you know, remove that entire, you know, result of it. But one thing that I find within that, that it uh, kind of samples too much of it to the point it doesn't look realistic. So what I will do is I will now start going into the clone stamp tool with a light brush at about, I'll say I'll move it up a little bit up here at 25% and I'm just going to start brushing over that little mark that you know skin uh, like the cheek aspect that's kind of you know sunk in a little bit and then I will then start to diminish it because what I'm going to do within this I want to create a clear and smooth base for this so when I go into actually retouching Academy right here I've, you know, cleared and, you know, done everything that I need to do with the base of the image so that it's easier to go into retouching Academy and let frequency separation and everything else I will be using when I get to this, explaining it, do what it needs to be done. So here's a quick before and a quick after. So as you can see, we just diminished that cheek indention and we just smoothed it out a little bit more than what it was. All right, so now I'm going to look around as well, and I see kind of, you know, discoloration up here that I want to get rid of. So I'm going to go in, and I'm going to move the opacity a little bit more down, and I'm just going to repeat the process that I was already doing with the skin, uh, with the cheek, and do the same thing here. I want to diminish, and what you want to always do is diminish, never remove fully, especially with men's skin. Still leave some of that uh, skin characteristic within that. All right, I'm going to go down to his beard a little bit. I'm just going to lightly start brushing over it to diminish that uh, skin pigmentation. And here I'll do a quick before and after. See how we're diminishing, never removing. So we're still going to be able to keep that skin uh, texture and consistency, but not removing the texture of the skin. Perfect. And just sampling around. You can always change the brush size. And then one thing I'm going to do is zoom into this beard aspect. And I want to kind of smooth that over as well. That line so that it's not as prominent. So see, just diminishing those lines. See that? Boom. All right, so I'm going to move over to this particular area right here as well. And I'm going to just lightly use my spot heel tool to clear things over. And then I'm going to use my clone stamp tool once again to clear those things up. I think I did a little bit too much, so I'm going to lower the opacity and go right back in with it. The crazy thing is I was playing with my camera settings and I've missed and um, turned the camera sensor to nine megapixels. So that's why, you know, it's not showing the full details, the full almost uh, 37 megapixels of what it could be. But now I'm just going to, you know, go in and start looking at the fine little details. And I'm going to give you a quick before and a quick after so far where we are. All right. So now I'm going to go back in and I'm going to go into the frequent, uh, the retouching Academy process right here. Retouching Academy is a software that you can input into Photoshop. It's about $79 or sometimes you can catch it on a sale. I think I got mine for about 50 bucks. And uh, what it does is it speed along the workflow and it puts, you know, different, it's like already a retouching action that is created in here to be able to speed along the workflow process. So what I'm going to do is then click over here to 16 bit. I'm going to go in, this is a Gaussian blur, move my radius up to about seven, click okay. Then I'm going to go over here to the layers side and then deselect the high uh, frequency texture. Also, 
within this as well when you go you have to use the mix brush tool you want to have this particular area uh transparent meaning that nothing is right here and then also these are the settings that you can use your wet your load your mix your flow and you can customize those based on your particular setting of sample of how it's going to react to the image so i have my set at a low seven and then i'm going to go in with my mix brush make sure the image is deselected and i'm just going to start lightly brushing along the image to start smoothing that skin out to start blending those tones and pigmentations out and when you're editing this sometimes try to move in the same direction of you know where you're going if you're going from side to side or if you're going you know up and down try to still stay in those same brush strokes at least for a large or a particular area of the face Then I'm going to start brushing along the neck aspect as well. Changing the size of the particular brush stroke as I go along. And I'm going to zoom out. And then I'm going to deselect the frequency. And as you can see, here's a quick before in the principle. And this is where we are now. So see, I stress to you guys, it doesn't take a lot to, you know, go about retouching an image and getting things to look consistent. The main thing that I used was the, uh, the spot heal tool, the patch tool, and also the clone stamp tool as well. So. It's a little bit more tedious than, you know, what some folks, you know, do. And sometimes I understand, like, we can be a little bit intimidated by Photoshop because it seems like it's, you know, a whole full process. But, man, I can't stress enough as a photographer that it's all about the details. It's all about, you know, sitting there and taking your time to be able to reach a touch an image. Yes, I understand you can do this within an app where it probably takes you 10 minutes or less. Yes, I understand you can do this, you know, in software and you can just blur over the skin, but you have to understand the result that is going to come from that, you know. And what I feel is that, you know, detailing to the art you create is everything. The attention to detail makes an artist stand out. Their quality of work stands out. All right, so as again, here's a quick before and here's a quick after. So I'm going to go down into the neck as well right quick. And I see some things I want to change. So let me just slightly remove those. And then here I'll show you a little bit of what the patch tool does as well. If I wanted to, you know, just start moving around and pulling things apart. Here is a quick before and after of the neck so far. See how you're just moving those things about. Even in this facial region, I can just start pulling things over. And it selects the sample of skin that's right next to it. So what I want to do right here is zoom back out of the image. There we go. And up here on the forehead, I want to hit that with a little bit of Retouching Academy as well. So I'm going to go back and do the same thing. Deselect the frequency separation. And I am going to go into just brushing that part of the head a little bit more. All right. So... I am now going to go into 
looking at the full image and seeing what I want to do. Now, I already have created a retouching action for this particular, you know, uh, image right here. But what I want to show you guys is fully how I got to do this within color grading as well. So as I, you know, look over the image, I'm liking what I'm seeing. It looks natural. Um, here, what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to go into the magic skin tool. And I just want to brush this up, clean that up a little bit more. One second. And it's okay as you're working, if you're seeing things that, you know, you want to change a little bit, you can go in and, you know, make it happen and then get right back to the task at hand. Alrighty. But my thing as a photographer, especially as a retoucher, is to keep things very realistic, but at the same time, clean. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is go into the color grading aspect. I'm going to go into the brightness and contrast tool. I'm going to start playing around with the contrast just to get a little bit of depth within the image. We can brighten it up a little bit more. And let's see, I would like to have a little bit of yellowness in there to just bring out those tones. Minus 10 and then maybe a little bit of 4% red. So here's a little bit of what we just did and see how that brought things out a little bit more. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is going to the uh, selective color region and I love using selective coloring. I can play with the red skin tones within, you know, the image if I want it to go, you know, very, very red or, you know, you can see what and play with it of what each slider does and you know kind of get the skin tones the way you want to have them look so i love that it's bringing out the color of his skin of what it was so i'll zoom out to let you see that see how that really brought forth the image and you know put a little bit more umph within it so then what i'm going to do is just uh, by a little just de uh, decrease the saturation and then i'm also going to go back into the color select color uh, region and then go into the blacks and I am going to then one second I'm going to then go into playing with the yellows I want to bring out a little bit of that and there we go alrighty so then after I do that I want to get a little bit of crisp and crispness to the image so I'm going to go into the sharpness and this is a little bit too much so I'm going to go down and decrease this by about 14 percent all right there we go and then I'm going to go back in with the digital skin texture into the mix brush tool and just lightly brush that over the skin getting those tones a little bit more clean and put together changing that brush size actually that cheek looks a little All right, there we go Alrighty. I'm going to move my wet up a little bit and just lightly brush. And there you have it. So this has been a retouching Hollywood tutorial. Uh, you know, just bring in a little quick Photoshop retouching, showing you a little bit of how I go about my workflow process of editing and, you know, just, you know, retouching the skin. I'll zoom in to one of the most prominent areas that we were looking at. 
See that? That's a quick before and a quick after. So that has been a full retouching tutorial showing you how I retouch and do a little bit of color grading to the skin. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys back in the next video. Feel free to as well head over to my Patreon, patreon.com slash chrisphotostudios to see more in-depth tutorials like this. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. We're out.